Would it be weird to have period pads? <laughs> oh boy. I'm a 17-year-old male. I'm thinking of buying pads for periods for emergency. Now, I do not have a girlfriend or any reason to buy them other I do not have a girlfriend or any reason to buy them other than just in case randomly I hear that a girl needs one and cannot find one. So I'll have like two in my bag at all times for the sake of having them because I know most girls have them and I think it would be nice for some guys out there to have them. Would it be weird? Am I thinking right? Should I buy them? For the record, if I get them, I'll get like a very general fit because everyone is different as you know. Edit. Thank you for the responses and the kind words. I've bought them. And when I get home, I'll put two in my bag. <laughs> Second edit. For those who are wondering what the situation would be like. Overhearing a girl. She needs one. And has asked her fellow women. And none of them happen to have one. Me going quietly to the girl. And telling her respectfully. And again quietly. Respectfully and quietly. I think the quietness is as an indicator that oh, that you respect the situation. I heard you have a pa- I heard you having a bleeding case, ma'am. Lucky for you, I'm a considerate 17-year-old male who just happens to keep general fit pads in my bag. I only have two though. So <laughs> hopefully this gets you through. Hopefully you only have a, you're having a moderate flow. Hey. All right. I think this is the real male feminist. Okay, but let's finish this secondly. And again, quietly, that I have one. If she wants and is more than welcome to decline my offer if she is not comfortable with it. And for those who think it's coming from a thirsty mind, it's not. Ooh, I want that fucking time of the month vagina. I'm so thirsty. All right. Uh, It's not coming from a thirsty mind. He's a fucking considerate 17-year-old male who wants to be the fucking pad guy. (laughs) He's, uh, I like the pad tie, I'm a pad guy, and I might as well try to offer you some feminine hygiene, if you know what I mean. Ooh, so fresh is so clean, but you ain't fresh today, but maybe tomorrow, and you can put my number in your phone, and we'll go on a borrow, I don't know, I'm sorry. Pad guy with the pad tie. Ooh, and I got a bad tie because I got a presentation today in the 7th grade. Okay, it's not in the 7th grade. You mean like the 11th grade, maybe even the senior. How would I even go from giving them a pad to coming on to her? Okay, this guy's not fucking creative. Dude, how would I even go from giving her a pad to coming on her? First of all, it's a different type of creepy. It's not sexual. What you're doing is not sexually creepy. It kind of is because it's genitals, but it's not like, I just got that you're like trying too hard from this. Even though I feel like you are the one true male feminist. <laughs> I'm the one true. Really? You're, you're a male feminist? How many pads do you have in case of an emergency? Don't answer me that. If you were really a male feminist, you would have a general fit pad or two in your bag just in case the rumor mill starts a turning and you find out Susie cannot get cannot get her hands on them hygiene products, the cotton tubes of absorption. But you'd say, hey, oh, oh, hey, somehow I heard about your period. <laughs> I think women have this shit figured out. You're just supposed to infer they're on their period by their mood. You're never supposed to, like, find out about it, man. Just, for the, just in case, man, I got these pads. But who knows? Maybe someone gets shot. He has these pads. And he, he stops the bleeding. He slows the bleeding. And he's a fucking savior. And he saves some lives. And then the next day, Susie can't find a pad. He's like, sorry, I used them to save a guy's life. <laughs> After carrying around these pads for two years, it's like, what? What What are you going to say? What are you going to say if someone looks in your bag or they you pull out a notebook and... Oh, shit, something fell. I, I was trying to block. There was a weird reflection coming off and I was trying to block it. So something fell. But I'm okay. Thanks for asking. And if you're having an emergency, I got an extra pad on. Just so you know, I, I got two extra pads, ladies. They're going to sit in my bag. Okay. Where were we? Oh, yeah, the good stuff. 
the good stuff. Uh, the good advice I got to give. I just keep an extra pad. Is that weird? Yes, it is weird. So you pull it out and it falls out. And someone's like, are those pads for periods? And, and what you know what you say? You say, men can have periods too. That's what's wrong with this. This is fucking transphobic. I'm sorry. I'll say it. Is you got these pads for women on their period. And that's not a thing. That uh, That's not a thing that is exclusive to, to women. So get your fucking mind right, you thirsty perv. But now looking this uh looking this advice over. It's unnecessary. Don't do it. It's not gonna pan out good for you, bro. That one girl will be like, thanks. But then she's gonna be like, I got this pad from a guy. <laughs> and they're gonna be like, is he trans? Like, yeah, well, guys can have periods too, so get over it. He had pads. That's all I'm concerned about. You say, oh, hey, I heard. Hey, I heard. You gotta be quietly. You gotta do it quietly. Hey, I heard. I heard it. Uh, you were having trouble finding some feminine product. You know, I was just so considerate. No, don't worry. You know, I keep two extra on me, and please feel free to decline. <laughs> feel free to. The, the regular fit. I hope that's good for you. I, I just wanted to, to kind of play the. Play the odds, so I got the average, uh, average sized <laughs> pad. Oh, oh, and hey, w- are you on the back? Are you on the back end of this? Because maybe, maybe next, maybe this time next week we go, uh, we go. I'm the I'm the pad guy. We can go get some pad thai. How's that sound? Do you like uh, Asian food? We can get some pad thai. I mean the pad guy. I'll take you out for pad thai. Here's my number. I, write your number on the pad. That's how you do it. And then she opens it up and you're like, your business card falls out. Pad guy. Who likes pad thai? Come and get me, baby. Come and fucking get. Come and fucking get some. Once, once that dries up down there, let's get it wet another way. Oh, Lordy. This is, uh, this is an edgy... An edgy portion of the podcast. Maybe buy them and keep them in your house for when you have a girlfriend. But I don't think this is ever going to be a problem. I think women have this figured out. I think they figured this out. Maybe if you were like, which would be even weirder. Maybe if you were younger. Maybe if you were like, right when when the period started started hitting hitting and and. But by the time you're 17, the purses are loaded with pads, man. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Don't ever think about this stuff. Like, this is the one time I want to be a fucking thought police on you. So sure, you can. And hey, if this, if I would love to know you and I would love to make a wager that if you ever get called on to to use these pads, I would I'll buy pad tie for you, hundred percent. But it's weird, man. It would be weird. You can do it, but you're never gonna use it. <laughs>